stupid drivers doing stupid things. Be aware. A traffic accident on I-80 in Berkeley, California was a series of missteps. A Dodge Durango and Chevrolet Malibu collided. After the accident between the two vehicles, the owner got out to argue about who was to blame. This time, the two drivers were not lodged in the safety of thousands of pounds of protective armor designed to keep people safe during accidents. A Mini Cooper swerved to avoid the two vehicles striking both men and killing both. The moral of the story is to exchange insurance and let the companies fight it out. Hanging out. The bus driver in Brazil was skillfully negotiating the metro area's winding streets, led by instinct developed over years of experience. On October 3rd, 2012, one of his passengers stood on his seat and leaned out the bus's window. The passenger was swaying back and forth while screaming with delight. Remember, the streets were very narrow. Someone hanging out the window can easily come in contact with a nearby obstacle. That obstacle was a telephone pole. The passenger didn't survive. On way field trip, on August 23, 1997 in Holland, a group of workers were excited to get away from their desks and enjoy a day trip provided by their employer. On this sunny day, a few of the more raucous staff members delighted in poking their heads through a rooftop window just like a dog would when enjoying the wind through their hair. They were repeatedly told to stop their foolishness and pay attention by the driver of the speeding bus. When the bus went through a viaduct, Two men were singing with their heads out of the window, the wind blowing across their faces. Then there was the sound of bone cracking throughout the bus. As one might expect, their heads did not break off cleanly, but the men's necks and heads cracked as they fell into the bus. Remember that these men were adults. Motorcycle safety. A New York City man protesting wearing a helmet was riding his motorcycle without a helmet in July 2012. The man suffered fatal brain damage from an accident where he hit his brakes, fishtailed, and lost control of the vehicle. He flipped over the handlebars, his head making contact with the pavement, shooting the gap. It was a beautiful evening on May 24, 2019 in Louisiana. Black Bayou Drawbridge south of Lake Charles was open for boats and consequently closed to cars when boats were coming through. Two Texans found this to be an enticing Friday night challenge. One of the men got out of the car when it came to a stop on the bridge. He proceeded to push any thoughts of safety when he decided to shoot the gap. He jumped back in the car and accelerated toward the open ramp. He and his passenger didn't make it. End of road rage. On February 20th, 2018, in Poland and following a car crash, two men got out of their wrecked vehicles and started fighting. When the men stumbled into the nearby traffic lane, the argument turned into a physical altercation that eventually reduced to bloodstains on the pavement. A truck put an end to the road rage when it struck the two men killing them. Live Wire March 8, 2018 in New Jersey, a man was driving to his father's house to shovel his driveway. After a violent snowstorm, the East Coast was covered in snow, fallen trees, downed power lines and blocked streets and highways. Traffic jams were everywhere and hundreds of thousands of people were without power. But he was determined not to be deterred by the snow or road blockages. In an effort to get to his father's house quickly, he avoided the bright orange traffic cones on Route 208 that alerted drivers to a potentially dangerous downed wire. Officers responded to calls at 9 a.m. and discovered the car completely burned out. Sputtering in the road next to the car was a live power line. The driver was declared dead at the scene. Modifications. On February 18, 2014, in London, a man started his car outside a pub in Corby. The only way to start it was by putting the vehicle in gear, reaching under the hood and touching two wires together. But he hadn't engaged the handbrake. Even worse, he had altered the VW to operate at a rapid idle in order to avoid stalling. A police investigation video revealed what had happened. The car lurched forward, 
toppling him over as the black wire touched the red wire starting the engine. The vehicle continued on its merry way due to the fast idle, causing 36 separate injuries to the unlucky man as it continued to run. Got any stories of stupid drivers doing stupid things? Leave them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more.